Welcome back to week six of Preaching One Foothills Christian College. I wanted to go over you with you briefly uh, just a format for developing your manuscript. Now, you've written two outlines already, and those sermons should have a title to them, the main idea of the text, your, your text, you know, however you want to put that there, probably the title, the text, the main idea of the text, an introduction that's written out, your outline, and then I'd love to see a conclusion that's written out for those outlines. But I'm going to just tell you how to fill in that outline to write a manuscript. A manuscript is not a sermon that you read in the pulpit, but it's a general idea of your study and the thoughts that you have about that scripture, helping to connect it to a modern hearer, hearer with biblical truth. And so what I would say is start with that outline and save it as another document. It's typically your outline would be what you build a PowerPoint file from or those type of things when you're when you're working on uh, you know presenting. You want maybe a, a visual presentation with a PowerPoint file as well as the written manuscript that you study from. So here's what you do. You take your outline and you have that in front of you and you insert your illustrations in the appropriate places with your points. Let's say that you have a written illustration for point one and three and uh, you want to put that in there. Maybe it's a personal illustration. I would try to write that out as much as you can to give detail so that if someone were to pick up your illustration, they'd be able to understand exactly what you were trying to say. Now, in a preaching outline, that's something what you, that you would take into the pulpit with you. I would say just a little blurb about that illustration would suffice. If you're sharing a personal illustration about a vacation that you had, then your little heading in your notes might be a um, story about last summer's vacation. And then you would, you know, from memory, tell that particular story and illustration. But whatever it is, in the manuscript, you want to write it out so that if somebody else picked it up, or if later you came back to it, you would remember exactly what it is. So you have the outline, you've got your introduction, you have your conclusion, you begin to insert your illustrations, and then you go back and you fill in around this skeleton with the words and ideas that you're trying to express with a written manuscript. In Times uh, New Roman, New Times Roman 12 font, you're going to write out the body of a sermon. And what that means is you're going to take the basic ideas under each section and you're going to lead up to the illustrations into them, have the illustration, and then out of the illustration and with a connecting phrase or connecting phrases or ideas to the next point. By the way, when you're preaching, and we'll talk about this in the next couple of weeks, your oral presentation should always be thinking ahead like driving a car. You're looking down the road for any road signs or, or problems on the road, and you're looking ahead. Same thing in your preaching. You're always looking ahead. You may be preaching point one, but point two is in your mind. You're leading toward it. So you'll write about that, and you'll write it, and you'll write the complete manuscript, and you'll get to the end of your manuscript writing and uh, you'll have the conclusion and you may want to write out a prayer if it's a prayer of recommitment or a prayer of salvation uh, whatever that is you want to know what you're leading people to and then also be able to, to expel that out at the very end now here's a little trick of the trade once you've completed your full manuscript my encouragement to you would be to go back and to consider rewriting the entire introduction, at least rewording it, and make sure you go back and proof these things. I'd also challenge you to consider retitling your sermon. Now, you may not change it, but the sermon itself, after you've written the full manuscript, may have taken on a slightly different flavor. Is there a word that keeps recurring in the manuscript or some information that God brought to you while you were writing the manuscript? You might consider taking that and using that word or idea as part of the title. You might even make sure that the points now reflect this verbally, what you've just written. And uh, remember that you, you don't want to read the manuscript, but it is something that you'll keep and that will help to, to concrete 
concretely put your thoughts down that you can go back to time and time again. So you'll be writing a manuscript for both of the outlines that you have prepared, and the manuscript um, will be part of your final work here in this class. The last thing that you'll do for this class is I'd like you to preach one of those manuscripts. Now you might say, if you're not a pastor, where am I going to do this? I'd prefer that if you preach, preach that you would do it in front of an audience. But if there's absolutely no way to have an audience, that I'd encourage you to videotape yourself such as I'm doing in front of your own computer or to make an audio file of your sermon I want you to send it to me, and I'm going to listen to it and grade it. It's your final project for this class. So pick the one that you're most comfortable with and think about preparing to preach that in front of other people. And so that's coming up in just a few weeks. I encourage you to work hard, finish well, keep your postings going. I'm so proud of this class. I feel like everyone has made tremendous progress. So I'll see you soon. If you have any questions, email me, Tom at Celebration Live. And I'll help you. Thank you.